an object at rest remains at rest until and unless an external or internal force is applied to it. You may be wondering why I am discussing this law of physics here. Friends, I have learned an important lesson in my life because of this law. When you hit your comfort zone, when you are in your comfort zone, you tend to relax and find a place of rest. And then at that time, you need some internal force or the drive which will push you again in the direction of success. And that force lies within us, in our mind. So mind is the biggest achiever and everything else, the body and the spirit, they follow it. Mahatma Gandhi had once said that I will not allow anybody to walk through my mind with their dirty feet. And I say, I will not allow my own negative thoughts to cross my mind and pollute it. It is easier said than done because mind is a supercomputer. It keeps on processing millions of information, ideas and remaining positive and energyful is a difficult task. But here is the point. If you are able to handle your mind, if you are able to train your mind to accept the challenges, you will always be a winner. As I begin my story, my story is also full of successes, failures, trials and triumphs. But I never give up because I trained my mind and befriended it to only look for success and accept the challenges. This has paid me in my life. My first encounter in life was when I decided to appear for UPSC exam. I was working as an engineer and everything was fine. But there was some monotony. I wanted to break this monotony. And I decided to crack UPSC exam. UPSC is one of the toughest exam on land where the success rate is less than 0.1%. But I decided that it is people like me who appear in this exam and actually crack it and become whatever they wish to be in their life. I, I sat at home for one year and it was only me, my books and I had to compromise on social life. I, will, I was almost cut off from everything or the outside world. I prepared for one year and dedicatedly prepared for it. But there were times, there were lows when I was questioning my own strength and why I'm doing it. That time, I thought that this is a challenge which I have accepted. I am responsible for it and I will, now if I've decided this, I will go for it and crack. Friends, in one year of my preparation later, I cracked this exam and became IPS officer. Oddly 20 years in service, I performed my best and dedicated my whole service to the nation. But again, there was a comfort setting in my life. I thought of exploring myself in some other field and that field was sports. I thought that when youngsters, they have so much of energy and people of my age who are entering into 50, why can't they do all these things which the youngsters do? In fact, I had interaction with the youth and with people of my age. Mostly, I found a lot of difference in my interaction with the youth and people of my age. Youth were full of energy and they wanted to do something new. They wanted to achieve new heights. They wanted to try new things. At the same time, people of my age, my colleagues, they were thinking of giving up, slowing down in life. I was not ready to accept this slowing down in life concept. Incidentally, that was a time when my children were becoming teenagers and they were full of energy. They wanted to do something new and get the best of education they were thinking of. I decided to prepare for sports at that time. One of my friends 
told me that there is an event called Deccan Cliffhanger is coming up in the month of November 2017. I discussed this with my coach whether I'll be able to do it or not because I had not done this long distance cycling before that. I had few months, so I started preparing for it. I explored more about the event and I also interacted with few cyclists what techniques I should be using when I, I was uh, doing this event. They told me some nitty gritties about this uh, event. So I started visualizing also because visualizing I had been using since long. And in this technique, I would run the whole race in my mind till the end from start. On the day of event on 4th of November, I started it early in the morning at 5 o'clock. I kept on me moving throughout the day. There was a lot of temperature variation and hills were there, then slopes were there, inclines and declines. And I kept on moving till afternoon. But then I found my energy levels declining. At that time, the mind played an important role and it always kept me and my body driving. So that push was coming from the mind, which was so very important. That is why when I say our mind should be strong, then at such critical moments, you need that strong mind, that positivity, which can give you energy to challenge. I continued this and on 5th at around 7 o'clock, I reached Goa. This gave me immense satisfaction that I could finish this race in 38 hours. You may be wondering that if in such an event you need some break or sleep, but if you take those breaks, then you overstep timing and then you may be disqualified from the event. I didn't want to take that risk. That is why I did not take big breaks. Also, after a few hours of uh, finishing of the event, my body started realizing or it realized that there were pains, there were injuries. This did not happen initially because mind did not allow my body to register those pains. This is the power of mind. Few months later, Again, there was an urge to do something new, to explore newer of myself. Then I decided to do something which is difficult, which many people have not even tried. One day I was called to felicitate in an athlete who had just returned after doing a triathlon. During interaction with that athlete, he told me that he has done Ironman and I was not aware much about what Ironman was till that time. He stated that Ironman is an activity where you have to do three events and each event has a cut off time and it starts with swimming which is four kilometers then cycling which is 180 kilometers and finally you have to run the complete marathon that is 42 kilometers. And for complete event, they give you 16 hours. When I calculated, it was 226 kilometers, which were to be done in that those 16 hours. It was a big challenge. First, I had to convince my mind and register into my mind whether I would be able to do it or not. I knew it will say yes. When I got the response, then I said, I must do it. I started preparing for this event. It was to happen in the month of August. For that, I had few months. So I started preparing. The most challenging thing was swimming because for this event, swimming had to be done in open water, either in sea or in lake. I had a phobia, let me admit this, of water till and that too in open water. To overcome that phobia, I started swimming in all the open waters, that is all the lakes in and around Nasik, where I was posted at that time. This gave me immense confidence and I was sure if I go 
to any place i will be able to swim another challenge which was there during swimming was the temperature the temperature uh, difference would be high in the sense that i had to compete for this event in france so there i was told that the temperature goes as low as 9 to 11 degrees centigrade so i had to keep this also in my mind and started visualizing and preparing for that from this point of view on the day of event it started at 7 o'clock after two loops of swimming i came out of water i could see that there were some athletes who had given up because of the temperature they could not go ahead but my mind was strong enough to push me that you have to complete this race so i immediately switched over to cycling then i did cycling of 180 kilometers and finally 42 kilometers of marathon and just before 100 meters of podium i could hear people saying india 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 that was the biggest moment which i still remember when i was holding that tricolor in my hands and finally when i reached at the podium i had immense satisfaction that still i can do something which looks so impossible to the people of my age in fact probably i can tell you that i became the first bureaucrat 50 in 50 plus category to complete this race and within time that is 15 hours and 13 minutes i still cherish those memories after this i was posted to a district called aurangabad in maharashtra i was working as inspector general of police there But again the sporting mindset was there and i didn't want to stop and let people say that it happens you may it may have happened because of flu but i didn't want this to be repeated or told by people to me i thought age is just a number you have to prove to others or to yourself every time and until unless there is a push from inside you won't be able to do anything so i well, i started looking for another challenge if there was any i heard about the comrade race comrade race is an ultra run which happens in south africa i thought i must prepare for this i have i had never done such a long distance run in my life till that time i qualified for comrade at uh, mumbai marathon with 4 uh, hours 20 minutes i started preparing for it but unfortunately we all know that globally pandemic had started and later on there was lockdown it restricted life of all of us i was wondering whether i'll be able to run this ultra marathon or not but still i did not lose hope i kept on moving and kept on practicing for this i had a stretch of 130 meters at my residence and started preparing on that only one day during preparation i kept on running and i did not realize that i had completed 21 kilometers on that day that boosted my confidence and i thought 90 km run is possible there were many restrictions from administration and all the athletes they were preparing inside or uh, wherever they could get chance to prepare at times if i could get chance i would go out do some hill runs so this is how i practiced and then the organizer said that they won't be able to hold this event in south africa but at the same time they allowed the, that we can run in our own respective countries i decided on the day of run that i'll start at midnight because there was specific time in which this had to be finished they gave us 12 hours to finish on the day of run i decided to start at midnight because it will be cool in the morning and then i'll take advantage of it and because this was a 12 hour activity so by 12 o'clock in the noon i'll be able to finish but sometimes things don't go 
as per your choice it rained heavily on that day i had to postpone my start till 5 o'clock in the morning i started at 5 am in the morning and during the run after around 40 kilometers there was a change in weather it became dry and later humid also there was a lot of sweat and an urge to stop but my mind did not allow me to do so it was pushing the body i was taking help of my physiotherapist also and finally i kept on running i didn't give up by around 6 o'clock i could finish this race and after finishing this race i found that things are possible and we cannot always find things as per our choice or things will happen or fall whatever we feel it doesn't happen that way so we will we have to circumvent find our own ways to reach to our destination this is what happened on that day and that was the biggest lesson in my life that you have to innovate ways to accept the challenge or complete the challenge which you have decided and if you have decided so your mind and all the powers will push you towards that goal and they will be there with you till you achieve your goal this is the story i wanted to tell you the sum total of all my experiences until today is that mind rules our body and the spirit all great thinkers achievers sports persons warriors astronauts etc have succeeded in their chosen fields not because they were physically superior or had advantages they succeeded because they trained their mind and convinced it to believe that their goals are achievable mind is such a unique gift of god to us that it can accept any suggestion and then make it its own once the mind accepts an idea then nothing can come in the way of fulfilling it my advice to all those who believe that they are not physically emotionally or psychologically strong enough is that you only have to mend your mind and your mind then will lead you to the glory you desire i found that when you start thinking and saying what you want your mind automatically shifts and pulls you in that direction so if you change your mind by introducing lofty ideas and higher goals your mind will change you completely in conclusion i would say that you have to realize that we live our entire life first inside our minds and then enact the same in the external world 